Welcome to the video and today we're going to be unboxing the Light Dome SE from Aperture. Now I've previously used the Light Dome 2 okay, pretty extensively and I will be unboxing this and telling you a little bit about what it is. So let's get started. We've got some tape on this side and it should come out. Oh, not quite. There we go. Here it is, the Light Dome SE. It's very compact, um, a lot smaller than like the Light Dome 2. It is 33.5 inches in diameter and has a Bowens mount to connect to, you know, standard light sources. For example, an Amron 100D. I just unboxed this. Um, there should be a video on the channel about it. Great light, um, pretty cheap, and I would highly recommend it. Okay, so let's talk about, let's unbox this real quick. Got some stuff on it. Here it is, there's a carrying case, which is always nice to have. We open it up, what have we got here? First pocket on this side, we've got our, um, what was this, diffusers, diffusers. So we got one stop, two stop, and this goes in front of both. Next. We've got our mount itself. This goes on the light, and then you connect all the rods to it. And then, our grid. So this goes in front of all of that, and um, makes it so you can kind of direct the light. On this side, we've got the softbox itself, and two rods. Is that it for this? Oh, here we have a manual. And I do not know how to assemble this, so I might need this. Here we go. Okay. Let's get started setting this up. Installation. Speed ring adapter. Okay, so this goes here, and then what does it want us to do? Okay, let's fan this out. This is not as easy as the Light Dome 2. Red dot match insert bracket to speed ring adapters sym symmetrically install all brackets. Um, these are probably spares is what I'm thinking. So, oh I see, so there's red dots on this, on this mount right here, and then there are four pegs with red dots. So I think, I believe what you do is, let's just start on one side here. So you kind of put this here, and then find the next one, which would be this, you put it there, get the next one, this, you put it here, so on, and so on, right? I did it. Okay. Um, if you can do it, get the Light Dome 2. This was hard. I don't want to pull this thing apart again. Um, it's shorter than the Light Dome 2. But that was not easy. You probably get better at it. 
just get the light dome too if you can. Um, yep, or the light dome mini maybe. Um, well, this is the SE, right? Yeah, don't get the SE. It's too hard. Um, if you're maybe if you're in my situation and you just want to set something up, not mess with it. You could get this and save some money. But if you're ever gonna like tear this thing down and use it a bunch, it's not just like it takes a little bit to set up, but it's like you feel like you're gonna break it setting it up. Um, yeah. Other than that, once it's built, it's great, and it's shorter, so you should be able to fit it through the door, through a door. Like the Light Dome Two is so wide, like deep, that you can't fit it through a door. Most doors. But yeah. It, I built it, um, not easy. So, yeah, let's let's get some diffusers on, and that should be the same process as the other lights or the other soft boxes. So, you got your small diffuser that goes on the inside, connecting to these tabs, and then I'll just do the one stop the diffusion. You can do the two stops um, if you want. So. have it these look to be the same as the light dome 2 um, so as far as quality goes yeah this is the, this is the exact same and these are probably the same as well yeah it's the same so if you have a light dome 2 or um, these are probably they might not be the same size but they're the same material and so, in, as well as the inside of the soft box, is also the same material. So, you know, good good quality stuff from Aperture. Um, this is this is good quality. It's just not easy to set up. Um, yeah. So this thing goes in the middle here. Boom. Boom. Uh, it's so big. I found with with soft boxes that these little bottom reflect or um, diffusers never seem to be even, like e like or not even like like uh, big enough, like it barely fits. So you kind of have to like partially put it on. But hey, works. That's what it looks like. And then I'm gonna do the thinner one. I think I could do the thicker one. Yeah, I'll do the thicker one. No, it's probably just more diffusion. I'll do the thinner one. I'll do the th yeah. I'll do this one. <laughs> they give you two: a thinner one and a thicker one. Is this the thinner one? Or are they the same? Yeah, I, th I think they're um, thinner and thicker. So you can... Um, you can use one, or you can use the other, or you can use both. So you got some options there. I'm just gonna use this one. Just like a sheet, like a weird, weird circle sheet with Velcro on the sides. 
So what you do, you just line it up on the inside of it, or you can do the outside if you want, but I'm gonna do the inside. And just do the Velcro all the way around. This part's always been easy. Okay, here we have it. There's a mount on the back, the diffuser on the front. It's pretty light. Um, so, yeah, that is the Aperture Light Dome SE. I would say, in, in summary, um, it's good quality. Um, when you're setting it up for the first time, it feels like you're gonna break it. I think that's why they gave you extra tubes. Um, I would highly recommend getting the Light Dome too. It's way easier to set up, and I, I think it's a little bit higher quality. Um, but this one's cheaper, so that's why I got it. Um, it's cheaper and it's deeper. So if you if you want it to be less less deep, this is better than the Light Dome 2. It's smaller. Um, if you want it to be deeper, the Light Dome 2 is that, and it's probably better um, that it is deeper. So anyway, it's cheaper, it's, it's shorter, shallower, same diameter, similar diameter. Um, if you can do it, get the Light Dome 2. It's gonna save you a lot of pain setting up, um, and it's probably not gonna break. I assume that at some point I'll break a rod. Um, it felt like I was going to. Um, so anyway, that's it. Um, nice carrying case, nice accessories. I got it for like $87. Not as expensive, but that's what you pay for, I guess. Um, later, I'll be comparing it, or not comparing it, I'll be using it with this, the Aperture, or the Amron 100D. Um, I just unboxed this. If you want to know about this, um, watch the unboxing video before this one, and then um, I'll do a review on this later, and a review on this later after some use. Um, but I can already tell it's pretty good, so... Anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. It helped me out a lot. So anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching.